Since time immemorial, humans have been burning stuff for fuel, to cook fabulous feasts, make metals, and most importantly of all, hot baths. The industrial uses for coal and oil were myriad and useful. During the Dark Ages, we largely forgot about the black stuff under the ground, but then came the fabulous, manly men like James Watt and Godly Dana, who worked out how to use these fabulous substances to do more than just make stuff hot. And so the Industrial Revolution began. The economy expanded, exploded. The mines ran day and night. You could not drill oil wells fast enough, but technology began technology, and soon we were drilling out the oil and mining all the coal that we needed. Then we needed more coal and oil to fuel our cars, our industries, and our wars. So we made more technology, and the oil and coal flowed forth. More and more technology brought more and more oil, coal, and natural gas. Importing more and more coal and oil from what was then known as the Third World until they became richer than us. Then in the 1970s they turned off the tap. Jimmy Carter was on it and he was spending money on solar panels. But then Ronald Reagan took over and the pumps were flowing again. Faster than ever. But production only barely keeps up with supply. So fuel prices soar even when production prices don't, resulting in fabulous profits for the fossil fuel industry. But what happens when the easy to get coal and oil and gas run out? Well, we have technology toppling mountaintops, refining sulfurous deposits, thought too filthy to refine, and fracturing the very bedrock beneath our feet and farmland. Why? Because that's where the oil is. Who needs wind turbines blighting our view when we can cut the entire tops off hills and mountains away, leaving lovely flat pieces of land where nothing will grow to destroy our vista? Now that's profitable.